Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment you can do at home if you're brave enough. I have right here the Cup of Doom. And the Cup of Doom is going to be submerged into this thing of water. But first, we need a victim. A sack. So, you take the sack, you put it in the Cup of Doom, and then you use some tape to keep it in there and make sure it can't escape. Once the sack is firmly in the cup of doom, you're ready to submerge it into the water. You flip it over, perfectly level, and then put it into the water. Any container will do as long as it's wide enough to hold your hand. Keep it nice and level and push it down. If you let go or tip it to the side, the sack could be destroyed or at least really wet. So you push it all the way down to the bottom and pull it back up and we'll see. Did it survive? Did it survive? Yes, indeed, it's dry. And the reason it's dry is that the cup of doom has something in it right now. It has air in it. And the air is going to stay in there when I push it down. If I push this in, then it's filled with air. And if you don't believe me, I can put a little cap in here that floats. And you can see that the water level goes down inside the cup because the air in there is actually pushing on the water and that air pressure pushes the water out of the way. Now if I tilt the cup of doom, the water pressure pushes the air up and out and the water can get in there. The water can get so high that it can even be higher in the cup than outside of it. So experiment with the cup of doom and see what you can find.